Am I gonna see all you guys at the next event? Huh? I don't think yeah. so. Oh. Hey, no, we're gonna see you at on uh, July 28th in go. Tallahassee. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. I will see you there. Have a good one. Thank you. Yes. Oh yeah. Absolutely. 100%. Guns aren't the problem. It's the people that are a little bit that are getting the friggin' guns. Or or let's just say, let's say let's just say the parents that aren't locking their guns up away from their 7-year-old daughter or son, right? And it's also those who are criminals, because criminals will always find a way to do what they want to do, as we have for Chicago. It's no gun zone, and just 21 people last week were killed, and probably, unfortunately, as sad as it is, on the 4th of July, maybe many more. It's so sad. All you're doing is taking guns away from the citizens who are res who are responsible, because t criminals will always have a gun and do and find a way to be a criminal. Exactly. Criminals are criminals. At the end of the day, criminals will be criminals, and I love all these citizens citizens out here fighting for it. Me personally, like if I if I could open carry, I would have been open carrying. My gun's in my car unfortunately, so I need to protect my gun. There you go. But at the end of the day, all these like-minded individuals yes. here, God bless America, God bless God the bless Second America. Amendment. Yes. yes, let's hear it. Come on, everybody. Scott, Tell me what you feel. Scott Israel needs to be in prison. Scott Israel. He's the one. Scott Israel, yeah. Scott, Scott Israel heard that. Scott Israel, you gotta go. Absolutely. Yeah. Number one. They, look at these. Look at these Scott, all. Scott Peterson, he'll be punished for running the wrong way. Heard that. God bless America. I thank you all for being here. Criminals, preferred unarmed victims. Dictators prefer unarmed citizens. Absolutely, ma'am. God bless America. God bless your Second Amendment, First, second, first Amendment right, Second Amendment right, USA, 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 USA. Absolutely, everybody. How you doing today, ma'am? You doing good? All right, perfect. I just want to make sure that I'm on the same page. What is your first and last, or give me your last name and your badge number? because you illegally searched me. Yes or no, ma'am? I need, I need her information. Let her know that this is actually by a, by a law-abiding citizen that she searched me. She has to give me her information. Please. Both of you guys, are you not giving me your information because this ma'am right here, I don't know her name, but she illegally searched me because I showed my... Hi guys. Have a no? Good job. Yep. Thank you. Have a good job. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, I, I need your name so I can report this. <laughs> Ma'am, are you not going to answer my questions, please? Sir, I'm asking for her. She illegally searched me. Huh? She illegally searched me as a... That's against my civil rights. Right? Against my Fourth Amendment rights? Illegal search and seizure? I wish she actually did so. It's called the uh, Terry Frisk. Hey, yeah, th that with, has no... She was, you uh, cannot. Well, she was well within her rights to No, do she that. was not. Yes, she was, sir. Well, then I need her name so I can make sure this is legal. Make sure what legal? That she searched her me. Her name is clearly written on her shirt. I, 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 no, it's not. It says something Marti. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I need her name. your name. Please. Officer Ravello. We've told him a little louder. My name is in my show. We will do. She, I, I heard you. Sir, uh, so I'm sure you can. Uh, I'm. I, I'm just making sure my 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 you microphone can pick it up. Amendment attorney to tell you something. No, if I've. First, I'm part of has, Florida. I'm part of Florida care. That you're dangerous. You can search you. But I wasn't. I wasn't dangerous. Right, I, I, I didn't. That. You're welcome to go to the police station and make a complaint, but I'll tell you what. You have an empty holster. You've talked numerous. You love your gun. I love my gun. You have a lot of bulges. Making gestures. No, 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 no. If, search, if, sir. She if it was one thing, if I had a gun or whatever. She conducted a Terry Frisk on you, sir. You cannot Terry Frisk anybody. Yes, I have I have laws. You, you have her name, correct, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it.
I got you all. We're not taking that away. We just simply do not need semi-automatic weapons to defend Yes! I own a semi-automatic handgun. It's the same thing. And you did it. I have a question. Um, well, first of all, I just want to say I do not support arming teachers, forcefully arming teachers with guns. I do support the Second Amendment and um, people who own guns legally and are responsible law-abiding citizens. If um, people who re regularly uh, have their guns for self-protection and if by chance they are a teacher, um, I, I do support that they could choose to have their gun with them for protection. Only, you know, if they are law-abiding citizen. So my question is, I just want to get your guys' opinion about that. And of, of course, um, uh, this would be like a better scenario of, we had better background checks too. So, yes. Good call, man. Good call. Let me ask you a question. Alright? Do you think that if you're drinking, because you want to get home, you should be able to drive? No. So why put others in danger when you're carrying? Well, um, while I'm talking about law abiding citizens. I understand, but but you going to school with your gun puts your students in danger. And that gun falls out. A, a child well, can get that and shoot themselves easily. Well, I mean, I, I'm talking about people who have been trained, have taken like safety courses, and again, you know, if we also have a situation where we have better background checks, I think I don't necessarily see the harm. Um, something Good call. that I think is really important to remember is the fact that some people didn't even have time the door. He didn't even have time to protect his own life, much less the lives of his students. Many teachers barely have time to close the door. When would they have had time to pull out a gun and defend themselves against their classmates? When did we begin to expect teachers to not only become our educators, but to also become our police force? It's not because there's not even a moment to think about it when you're in that situation because we were in that situation and we know that some of the people didn't even survive. They wouldn't have had the time to defend themselves. And ultimately, we can go round and round and talk about the possibilities of that, but once again, that is reactionary, that is not preventative, and we want to prevent school shooting. Yeah. Bless America. Um, I don't know in charge of the music, I would say it's called music. <laughs> Where can I get a copy of that? Uh, you go to solo S O L O Y A K E R at YouTube and you'll find this probably within a day or two. I've you got just about. been uh, in the company I'll of write it down people for you here in a minute. From other countries, in particular New Zealand, Australia, Britain, and all these people wanted to know what's with America, what's with the guns. <laughs> I'd like to get your opinion on that because Americans. I do not think we need all these guns. It's just unbelievable. Nobody else does this. Welcome to America. Welcome to America. All I can say is that. <laughs> America does account for 80% of the entire world's gun violence, and there are more guns in this country than people. And the reason, a lot of people say, like, this is a mental health issue, but there are mental health issues in every single country in yes. the entire world, but this is the only place. Look to statistics! Statistics help! I think it's obvious. 
that America has a cultural obsession with guns? My name is Solo Yacker, and I'm a big advocate of the Second Amendment. Um, I don't know about half of you women here, but let's just say you were single women, and you had to defend yourself from somebody. It doesn't matter who it is, about somebody. What do you do as a woman against a man, not of my statute, but of somebody that is 200 pounds heavier than you? Are you gonna defend them with your safe space? Are you gonna defend them? Answer, Pam, tell him. Please, let me speak. Are you gonna defend them with a safe space? Or are you gonna try to defend them with your Second Amendment right as, as a woman? Forget about man, forget about all the other stuff. Who, defend yourself. Why take away the Second Amendment of me and my wife and my child or anybody else? Why? Okay, we're gonna answer the question, go ahead. No, no, I, I, and why? Why, do, why take away my rights? She's answering it right now, so if you be quiet, she'll answer. I have another question, because um, something that we do care a lot about here, especially myself as a feminist, is the safety of women all across our country. And that is why, <laughs> we very strongly believe in supporting the Second Amendment for law-abiding citizens who will use the Second Amendment to protect the safety of themselves. Sure that. However, we do not support the possession of guns by domestic abusers, by people who are showing red flags. I have a counter. The law is already in state. If you have a, if you were a domestic abusing to a woman, male, doesn't matter. If it, it, I'm not saying you, ma'am, but I'm saying if you are physically or whatever domestic, that law is already in place. Mental, no, 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 mental, no, 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 I'm going to let you know, I, I just got my concealed weapons license, and yes, it is. If you have a domestic abuse something, anything, you cannot get a weapon. If you have a, officers, officers. Let her answer the question. The original question, sir, is that we do support women having guns because if they do it in the legal way with the 10 policy points that we have on our website, March for our lives. I've seen them. I've seen them. Yes, I've seen them. Yes, I've seen them. Yes, I've earlier about doing research and looking at the facts. I'm not sure of the exact numbers. I think it's around 86% of people that have a gun in the household. It's 86% more chance that gun is going to be taken and used against you or somebody innocent. So shake your head no. Look up the facts. I have. And I have. I'm What's your question to the students, sir? Never What's your question to the students? Have I had needed a gun? And What's your question to the students, sir? I'm answering. I'm Do you answering have a question, the question for the students? Okay, well, if okay. not, we have to Do move you, on. Do you, those facts sound right? 86%? Have you read that as well? So the question is the statistics on the households so, and guns in yeah. the household. Is it so more it dangerous is. to have a gun in your house or not? No, sir, it is not. I'm going to let you know statistics state. So Absolutely. Yes. I, I believe. Yay! I will argue. If your kid is seven years old, okay. lock them up from your kids. Yes. There is so many points. There is such a large amount of America that is in that middle ground, that is in that area where we can really just compromise and find reasonable solutions to this epidemic that is across the country. It is not as hard as it may seem. While there are extremes that are so loud on each side, that's not who we are. That's not who the country is. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, I'm not going to fight you. And in particular, metal detectors or arming teachers, like what, 
what have you come to think is the best solution towards school safety? I have two children who are in public schools here, and it's very concerning to me. I know something could happen to us anywhere, but when they're at school, I don't want to feel like I do every day. Thank you all for being here. This is amazing. You guys are the change that we all need, and thank you for committing yeah. your summer work. have got to do it for us so thank you for that uh, my question to you is how do you how do you guys th I mean it, it's difficult like you say yelling and screaming at each other isn't going to change anything you feel the way you feel this gentleman over here feels the way he feels I feel the way I feel and it's difficult to find that common ground but I'll bet you if he and I sat down and had a drink together in a bar we'd probably agree we'd find our common ground there's a lot of things there's that, there's, there's, there's the, the two spectrums, like we want to take your guns away. I have a, one of my closest friends, is a, he, he, uh, he's a gun owner, he's a former military person. I have so much respect for him and his right to own a gun and possess a gun and, 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 and all those things. And, but he listens to NRA TV and that's all he wants and he's becoming, he's becoming brainwashed. He thinks that you kids want to take away his guns and I know you don't want to do that but how do you get that message across to to those people that are just so instilled and maybe I'm instilled as well in, in my belief system how do you find that common ground because I think that's what we need to do we need to come together as a country and to my the, to the gentleman over here What's the that, question? That, so well, I, I am, I am. I, I'm okay. asking them that question. Okay. I'm also saying to the gentleman over here that had his comments, your your biggest, your, your, the biggest, yeah, the biggest shortcoming was that you I'm think that. Well, well, he had, he had, he had, he said that, that, that women are a weaker sex, and I think that's wrong. Don't have a conversation down the street at the bar. All relevant, brother. I appreciate that, man. Yes. So uh, schools were built to foster education and creativity. They were yes. not built to be prison. Yeah. I don't think prisons in schools and putting bulletproof glass sound like very temporary solutions. Where we are telling our kids that school shootings and mass shootings in America are inevitable, and that's not correct. So. Only focusing on school safety to combat our gun violence epidemic, by only focusing on school safety, we are saying, when a guy with a gun comes to this school, how about instead we take one step further and focus on not letting that guy get that gun? Teachers don't get paid enough as it is, so we can't just keep adding that. We're not paying them to teach our students. We're paying them to teach our students, not raise our students. They're not, that's not their job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's, I, I'm going to ask you a question for the audience. Raise your hand if you've ever met a teacher you didn't want to have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer to the question. <laughs> So I want to thank you all for. Well, okay, so the person that I, I've 
very much enjoy uh, registering voters. Um, over the past two weeks, I think we've registered, like us, Road to Change has registered about 150 new people. The next election will be August 26th. And hey, hey, hey. uh, of course, the midterms in November. Second Amendment right for people who are not in a militia, and if so, why would they put it together? And also, do you have a problem with video games as a source of violence where they teach kids that killing is thrilling, to own a gun is fun, and that you should be scoring points for how many people you can slaughter? Do you have a problem with video games, violent video games? Good question. To address the second part of your question about video games, um, I don't think that it's fair to um, victim blame by saying that kids playing video games somehow influences them to commit a shooting. There's a very clear line between what's on your screen and what's in real life, and although I personally don't like the glorification of gun violence, that's like saying that it's the kid's fault for what's happening to them. The research says otherwise. Do the research. Facts. Good call. Good call. Good call. Thank you. His first question. We're not trying to repeal the Second Amendment. There is the right to say everything you're doing because you're taking action. And one of the things you're pushing for are getting young people registered to vote. Has there been a change in the registration of young folks in the state of Florida? And you mentioned something about pre-registration. How old do you have to be to pre-register? And when is the next election coming up in the state of Florida? <laughs> About um, absentee ballots. A lot of you are going off to college. A lot of your friends are going off to college. As you are voter, as you are registering people to vote, are you also handing them their vote their absentee ballots and telling them that the paperwork that you've got to go through is crazy, so we're here to help you. Because what they're doing is basically trying to tell you, this paperwork is so hard, oh my gosh, I'm not even going to do it, and walk away from it. Just because people are registered does not necessarily mean they're going to exercise their right to vote. Right. So what are you doing to help them through that absentee ballot, and are you helping them to find their absentee ballots? Mail in, mail in. Ballot parties for college students who might be going to every college and university that we can reach yes. next year because it's hard when you're a student and the dates are different for the state that you're in and the state that you're from and you've got a lot of schoolwork but we're going to change that by offering them food and fun and friends and then they're going to fill out their ballots and then we are going to vote orange and you're going to see it so I can't do it <laughs> Education is, as we know, the great equalizer. 
it is what gives us our voice. It is what teaches us about what it is that we know in our country, in our world, in our everyday lives. And while we may not necessarily have conflict resolution at the moment, I do believe that as a whole, our country can really move towards a better educational system that really nurtures students instead of just pushing us down. So, yeah. Thank you. The young man right here in the black.